Hello, and thanks for stopping by on this early summer day. Today I just wanted to show you how I make what has become a staple in our home, and that is Turkish dolma, which are just stuffed peppers. And there are a lot of different ways to make dolma, but this just happens to be my favorite because of the warm spices and the delicious herbs that are added. This recipe makes a pretty hefty portion for about six servings, and normally I buy a pack of bell peppers at Costco. You can use any color of bell pepper that you want, green, red, orange, yellow, it really doesn't matter. I just get the assorted pack, and it nearly always is perfect for the amount of mixture that I make. After washing them off, I go in and cut out the tops and then clean out any seeds that are on the inside. Just make sure that you don't discard of the top because you'll need that for later. Next, I'm going to chop up two medium-sized onions into fairly small pieces. To a very large saute pan, I'll add a generous amount of olive oil. I don't measure this out, but usually just make sure that I cover the whole bottom of the pan. I'm going to guess it's probably roughly half a cup. And then once the oil is hot, add in the onions and slowly let them saute until they're translucent. While those are cooking, you can chop up the parsley and mint. And while dried mint and parsley will be used in this recipe, it is really important to also have some fresh herbs. Flat leaf Italian parsley works best. And as for mint, I usually get a little mint plant when they're available. Um, if you're buying mint at the grocery store, you will usually find it in those little plastic packs and it's always so expensive for such a small amount. And I can often find the same store selling the plant for the exact price or even less like at Trader Joe's. And I don't have the greenest thumb, but even if I can get a few more uses out of the plant, it's well worth it. Then I add in my spices, which consist of a heaping tablespoon of dried mint and dried parsley, about a tablespoon of allspice, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and about a half tablespoon, I'd say, of um, salt, but you can always adjust that later if you find you need more, and then also a tablespoon of sugar. In addition, I'm going to add about a third to a half cup of pine nuts. Now, I know that pine nuts can be kind of expensive, so if you do see them at your Costco, I'd recommend getting those because it's a good deal. And then I'm also going to add in about the same amount of either dried cranberries or dried currants. I personally prefer the dried currants when I'm able to find them because they have a little bit of a smaller size, but dried cranberries taste almost exactly the same. And then finally, you'll add in about uh, three cups of rice that has been rinsed. Once everything has been stirred well, you can go ahead and remove it from heat and start stuffing your peppers and then replace the tops after you stuff them. I had a few extra large peppers in this bag, so I was only able to fit five in my stock pot. So I filled the peppers extra well this time. And then I add about a half inch or so of boiling water to the bottom of the pot to make sure that they don't burn. And then you'll go ahead and add the lid, turn the heat on low and cook for about 45 minutes or so until the skins are soft.
While I let those cook, I went to our package locker to grab a very special delivery for my cute little Frenchie fig. I think she was very surprised and also intrigued of her new stroller that we ordered for her. After putting together the stroller, the peppers were ready. These are a meal in and of itself, but they're always served with cool yogurt on the side. It's such a Turkish tradition. And this complements the warmness of the spices really nicely, I think. I left the recipe for these Turkish dolma in the description box in case you want to take a look. And after lunch, we decided to go on a walk and thought it would be a great way to test out Fig's new stroller. I mentioned before how she can be a bit of a lazy and stubborn girl when it comes to her walks, and when it's hot, she really has a hard time. I never thought I'd need a stroller for my dog, but here I am. <laughs> and it seems like she likes it quite a lot, and it pushes easily and smoothly, so I think it was a success. Thanks for joining me while I made a yummy Turkish lunch and walked it off in Fig's new ride. Please be sure to check out my other videos and consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more in the future. Thanks!